Greetings everyone and welcome to Batas Animation. So for our last tutorial we cover this application Scraper which allows you to scrape all the media for your arcade and console game collections. Okay, uh, And today we're going to look at the ARM scraping application. And like last time I already have my Batas Data system turned on and it's connected directly to my laptop through an Ethernet cable. Okay, If you don't know how to do that I explain the process or the steps uh, in the video entitled How to Quickly Copy Your Games in, into Batocera. And I will be linking that video at the conclusion of this video. So, don't know how to do it, look for it. Or you can also go to our website at batoceranation.com and you can find it quickly there in the section Useful Tips. All right? Okay. Let's go ahead and install the other app. Okay? Uh, this is the name of the other app. It's called ARM. Okay? It's got a long title right there. Okay. They have a wiki page uh, and they also have an English section on the wiki page. This app was developed by a couple of French developers, okay? But again, there's an English section and it will give you an overview of the software, okay? All right. So, here's where you download the file itself, okay? And I will be providing a direct link in my video description, okay? And they have two different installations. One with the installer and one without it. I highly recommend that you just go ahead and stick with the installer. So click on this button. So I'll take you over here. Click on that, and you can there from there download it. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and install it. Okay, so here's the main interface. It looks rather confusing. There's a lot of stuff here, but we'll figure it all out. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to locate our game folders, right? So, in my case, since I already have Batocera already turned on, Batocera share. Okay, and here, Batocera share. Click on this to confirm it exists. Here it is. It's got all the files right there. All right. Next thing, go ahead and check to see that the screen scraper database of the server is up, is functioning. Okay. So there it tells me if it's it's working or not working. That's helpful. All right. Next thing we need to do is go to this tab that says about to set up. All right. From there, locate login screen scraper. Okay, click on that, enter your information, and have that go ahead and click on validation. All right, so that's taken care of. Now, from here, we can select everything. We can select everything we want to scrape or select just a few of them. Okay, I'm not gonna do the whole thing again. I'm gonna go ahead and just do Daphne again. Let's go back up here. All right. So what I did was I created a backup and I deleted all the metadata from this one, okay? So it will be like scraping for the very first time. All right. Once you select your consoles, go ahead and click on display. All right. There I found all the games, right? Okay. And I select them. All of them are selected right here. So you can select to scrape everything or let's say you just want to select just one, okay? two of them, right? And that's how you do it. Okay, we want to go ahead and select everything. So, go ahead and do that. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do, we want to go, it says show mix model. Click on that. Now, load up this, okay? Uh, from here, you can select whatever mix may match you want, okay? If you scroll down to Daphne, and this is what you'll get, right? You can select that one, okay? Uh, but let's say you don't want that one. Let's say you just want, you want uh, something else entirely different. Let's say I want this one right here. Select that one, okay? 
All right. And then once you once you select what you want, go ahead and exit. Now you can also choose not to choose a mix. Okay, uh, you can choose just the box itself. So go to images, option, and from there you can just select box, and so it will download the box, the 3D box. Okay, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to pick mix. Okay, and I also want the video. Okay, so I'm going to select mix or video. It's either one or the other. So I'm going to go ahead and select mix, and from here I'm going to say force it. And then it'll force everything. The video, the manual, maps, the fan art, whatever it finds, it's going to download. So it's going to take a bit longer than the other one for that matter. All right. Okay. And then from here, we want to select preview video just in case. All right. Make sure everything's good before I proceed. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and proceed. All right, so here you have what database you want to use to scrape everything, okay? You got the games database, you got main database, and of course you got the screen scraper as well. So I want to go ahead and choose this one. Click on that, and I'll start scraping, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all this, and, uh, and then we'll pick it up when it's finished. Okay, so we are done. This took about four to five minutes. And the reason why it took longer than the other one because it's downloading more information, okay? So the other one may appear to be faster, but again, we've got manuals and all the stuff that's downloading at the same time. All right. Notice that I renamed the game title to the correct title, okay? Okay, so if something is not correct, you can rename things, you can change the description. It gives you more flexibility, okay? You don't want a long description, you want a short description. It's up to you what you want, all right? It's got ratings and all that stuff. You can change here the name of the file as well if you want to, right? Click on rename and I'll rename it, all right? That's a mixed image that we're going to see. And we also have previews as well. You can watch the video. All right. Let's say you want a different video. You don't like that one. You've got better video because you use LaunchBox, for example. You can click on that. You can select where your video file is at. So, let's see, in my case, it's here. And I've got a launch box. I can go to videos. I can go to Daphne. I can select the video that I want, okay? So, you have that flexibility as well, okay? You can also select the image as well. Let's say you have a different box, right? Same process. I've got everything in my on my lunchbox folder. Images. Daphne. And I can select whatever I want. Okay. Okay, so again, you have more flexibility. Alright, you can go through all of them. If it looks good, then you can go ahead and save it. Alright? In this case, if it looks good. Right. right, so once everything is done, you can also even select another database as well. In case something is missing from here, you can go to the second database, okay? And then once everything is done from there, just go ahead and click on this button. Create game list with all the ROMs. And it automatically will save it there in my folder that I'm about to set it right there. So save it, replace it, yes. Now let's go ahead and switch it over to about to set it to see how, how everything looks. Okay, so we switched over to Batocera. Let's go ahead and press start on the gamepad. Go to game settings, update games list. All right. Let's look for Daphne. Here it is. All right. You can see there, it diff looks different than the other one, right? It's got that mixed image right there. It looks good. And it's found everything as well. Looks great. I don't know which one I'm going to keep. Kind of like this actually. Looks really good.
right, everything is there. So I found everything. All right, let's go ahead and press select here to see what we got. Leo game manual. Look, I found the game manual. Huh? How cool is that? Okay, so again, I press the A button, hold it down, and then from there you can go to your game manual, add to favorites, okay. All right. Let's see, there's no one here. And there it is. That's so cool. And I'm using the, the D-pad, my game pad, to advance the pages. <laughs> it looks so cool. All right. All right. Okay, so let's go now to Xbox. Because I haven't had much luck with what this says built-in scraper, okay? If we try to try to scrape it, it doesn't work. So let's use the ARM app to see how well we do with this, all right? Okay, so we're back with the app. Let's go ahead and select Xbox, okay? Everything else is the same. Let's go ahead and pick on display. So there it is. I found the four games, okay? Everything is empty, okay? All right. So let's go ahead, go into our image options tab. Okay. I want box. I don't want mix this time. Okay. And I want it to select everything you can find. Okay. So I'll do that. Okay. Everything else should be okay. Ready to go. And let's go ahead and, and let's go ahead and click on screen scraper. It's only about four games, so let's see how well it does. Okay, I'll fast forward all this and then I'll pick it up again once it's finished. Okay, so it's finished scraping. Let's see how well we did. And let's see, we got all the images there apparently. And all the images are there. All right, 3D box, which is what I want. And it's got all the description right here. You can see that. Let's look at the video. Uh, screenshots. Let's see, video, video. Okay, I only found one video. Crimson Sky, High Road to Revenge. But I didn't find the other videos, okay? So, assuming you don't have the video, there's a way you can download them off the internet, off YouTube, okay? This is the app that I use. It's about 10 bucks. I have no affiliation with this site at all, okay? But this is what I normally use. It's about 10 bucks, and you can download the videos that way, right? You click on this little app right there. Click on it. I'll load it up. There it is, okay? And then I go to YouTube. And I type, for example, I want the Halo Combat. Evolve, I uh, think trailer, Xbox. Okay, find the one you want. It could be this one, right? And then, and from there you can download it. Click on the one you want to download, and it'll download it for you, okay? All right. Let's go ahead and minimize this. All right, so since it didn't find the videos, let's go ahead and select them for ourselves, all right? So let's go to my portable drive. I have everything. Go to launch box, videos, and Xbox. And there it is. Let's click on that. And now I have. Okay, so here it's telling me to save. Make sure I save it so that it will copy it correctly, right? Right there's a save. Let's just save it. All right. Go to the next one. Same process. I'm going to select my video. I'm going to go into my... I just wish it would take me back to my last drive that I used, but it doesn't do it that way, unfortunately. Go over there. Go to videos. Go to Xbox. And it's a jet set radio. Okay, 
Okay, save it. All right, go to my, go to the last one. And same process. And and videos. All right, and ninja. Okay, save it. Once we're good to go, go ahead and create game list with all the ROMs. Okay, it's on the Xbox. Yes, that's where you want it. Replace it. Yes. And we're done. Let's go check it out to see how it looks. Okay, so we're back in Batacera. Press Start, Gamepad, Game Settings, Update Games List. And yeah, let's go to Xbox. And voila, finally, it's scraped. And it looks good, real good. Love it. Okay, the audio right now is turned off, so it normally will play back with some audio, okay? But there it is. Xbox is done. Okay, so that's how it's done. So we've got both apps already installed. You can pick the one you like the best, okay? I happen to like the second one better because it's got more features, more options, and you can customize things much, much better with it. The first one is easier to use. So again, it's up to you which one you want to use, but you got both options there. It's gonna help you to scrape and make your life so much easier than compared to the built-in scraper that's found uh, in Batocera. So if you found this video tutorial useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with uh, algorithms for YouTube. If this is your first time with Batocera Nation channel, I highly encourage you to go visit our website, batocerenation.com. That will give you a great overview of all the videos we've already created and a great overview of what Batocera is all about an awesome, wonderful retro console operating system that you will absolutely love if you've never tried out Batocera. And also consider subscribing because I've got a lot more tutorials coming up, including my next one is going to be on flat packs. If you don't know what it is, essentially it's going to allow us to install Linux apps into Batocera. And that's going to open up a whole new world of games and applications that we can use in Batocera. So you don't want to miss out. I guarantee you, you're going to love that tutorial. That's coming up next time on Batocera Nation. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Batocera Nation. Bye.